I, I'll say this, there's a, an um, unbelievable amount of um, support from, from one program to the other throughout. And um, the coach is led by the head coaches. Uh, and I think we all like to see each other have success. And we know that we're all in this together. Um, I recognize that if Kenny Gajewski has a really good softball program and Josh Holiday has a really good baseball program, that only is going to help create more buzz and energy and excitement about kids wanting to be here and exposure that they get. And I think that, you know, Colin Carmichael and Jay Waterday and Chris Young recognize if the basketball program is doing well, it's good for them as well. And um, I haven't been a head coach anywhere before, but I've seen the interaction in the athletic department at other places. This is the best I've ever been around in terms of chemistry amongst the programs and the leaders of those programs. And um, it was why it was important. I don't know if you remember back in the fall, right around the time we all took pay cuts. Um, I think Bill Hasten may have wrote an article about kind of some um, disjointment or whatever it was. And the head coaches came out and said, no, like we understand, like we don't like this, but we're all in this together. We, we all are trying to help each other have success and these sacrifices are necessary. And we know that it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be forever, uh, but we're going to pull for each other uh, as much as we can to make sure we see each other have success. And I think moving forward, uh, you're going to see all of us support each other. Uh, we talk often, and a lot of it has to do with Mike Holder's leadership. Uh, he's empowered his coaches to, to, to have that type of approach, and I think it's kind of bleeding throughout the department.